Good morning Capricorn. Welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and take a look and see what messages want to come through for you regarding love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. In this reading Capricorn we're going to take a look at your energy, the energy of your person and then we're going to take over to the tarot cards and um, see what other messages want to come through for you regarding love this week. Okay, so as you can see, Capricorn, we've already drawn a couple of Oracle cards to kind of look at your energy and the energy of your person. I accidentally started doing this for Cancer earlier in the week, and I thought I'm just going to carry it through for the rest of the Zodiac signs. So uh, Capricorn, you are coming through as the Otter, okay, the Otter Spirit this week. And your person is coming through as the hummingbird spirit, okay? The upward pointing triangle with the line through it does represent the element of air. So this person may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or has strong air in their chart, or is just posing strong characteristic traits of these air signs. Now, I do want to mention Capricorn, this is a general reading, so take what speaks, leave what doesn't, of course. If you feel like you want to, you know, roles reverse, if you feel like you're more the hummingbird and your person's more the otter, then I'm going to leave it over to you. But in the meantime, if you are connecting with this reading, be sure to hit that like button, share and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated, you guys. I am a small YouTube creator, so... All of your support is um, greatly appreciated and, it, and of course, it will help the growth of my channel as well. Okay, so I'm looking at the energies and what I see here is you're both looking at each other. So I do feel that there's a beautiful connection between you and this person. Okay, there's a beautiful connection. The connection has been established, I feel, right? Now... I feel for you, Scorpio, Scorpio, you may be connecting to a Scorpio, um, but I feel for you, Capricorn, that you like this person, okay? You're starting to catch feelings for this person, okay? But you might be keeping that to yourself for the time being. This person may be someone who's been a dear friend of yours, Um but it's like, mm, I'm starting to like this person. I'm starting to catch feelings for this person. I can't stop thinking about them. When I'm at work, I'm just plugging away. And then all of a sudden, you know, I, I see my person. I think about them. Thoughts of them pop up. And this is what I'm feeling, right? At this point, Capricorn, you feel these tender feelings towards this person. So it's really beautiful. It's really nice. Okay. This person also brings out a playful side in you, I feel, and you're quite, you're finding that quite refreshing. Now, your person over here, I feel like they are very much interested in you as well. I feel like they think about you quite a lot as well. They've got you on their mind a lot. And how you know this to be true, Capricorn, is because this person reaches out to you. Okay, they, they're always finding ways on talking to you, listening to your voice, interacting with you. They're always finding ways on how to interact with you and maybe just show up in your life. Like I said, it's either through voice message, text message, liking one of your social media posts, complimenting you, emailing you you know, planning to see you. That's how you know this person is that that's how you know that you are on this person's mind but I feel like you are on this person's mind quite a lot okay this person the hummingbird I'm hearing the word humble humble so you compliment this person in some way or they feel very humbled in your presence or maybe they you make them feel humbled yeah. I do feel like this person is quite vocal. However, I feel at this point they're not, maybe they're holding back vocally. Like, I feel like this person could be a little bit of a chatterbox, um, but it's kind of like they're suppressing that. 
I feel like there's a lot more that this person would like to say to you at this point. But I feel like this person has a lot of passion for you, Capricorn. I really do. But I feel like they're holding that back right now. Maybe they're holding, they're not expressing how passionate they are towards you. Uh, let, let's just see what the rest of the tarot cards have to say because I'm feeling it here. They're very interested in you, but they're sort of holding back as well. So um, maybe it could just be that this person wants to take their time and move things slowly here. Maybe they don't want to ruin a good thing, especially if they see you as someone who was someone like a friend for quite a while. Um, I do feel that there's a beautiful friendship that is established here between the both of you. So let's expand on this reading. Spirit, angels and guides, what messages do you have for our Capricorns regarding this beautiful love connection this week? What is it that our Capricorns need to hear and know regarding this beautiful love connection this week? Wow, look at this. Mother of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And that's your energy, right? Wheel of Fortune. Wow, the Emperor, Aries energy. Okay, so I see you with the Mother of Pentacles because so far I'm reading this line here as your energy and this row down here as the energy of your person. And with the Mother of Pentacles, I see a lot of nurturing energy coming through, a lot of caring, a lot of nurturing, a lot of tenderness coming through. And I feel at this point, Capricorn, that's how you're starting to feel. That's how you're starting to feel towards this person. Okay, I see a lot of sensuality coming through to you, sensual, sensual touching, a lot of caressing, cuddling. I feel like this is how this person makes you feel. Oh, wow, look at this. They've got the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful complementary energy. Four of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, and the lovers. Okay, for some of you, this person may be a Gemini. So I do have to say here, guys, I feel like this person's already established some kind of a connection here with you. I'm really feeling it with the Four of Pentacles, okay? They feel an established, they feel a connection has been formed, okay? And at this point, I feel like they're solid about their feelings for you. I don't feel like they have truly expressed their feelings on a deep level, but I feel like this is someone who likes to take their time. Okay, they don't like to move things fast. I feel like this is someone who likes to take their time. With the lovers here being Gemini, um, a major arcana for Gemini, um, I'm getting at some point they will want to express their feelings for you, how passionately they feel towards you. This is a strong and powerful and intense connection that they feel. Okay, they may feel that this is like a twin flame or a soulmate connection for them. Okay, now if this hasn't, if, if your connection hasn't been physical, I see here that they would like to establish some kind of physical connection with you because they are highly attracted to you. There's something about the way you make this person feel that really is attracting them towards you. And with the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like this person sees this as long term. Okay, they're here, they're in it to stay, they're not going anywhere. They would like to be, you know, a firm foundation in your life. They would like to establish this firm foundation and build upon that. For some of you with the Ten of Pentacles, this person sees you as someone that they would like to marry, possibly have family with if you're at that stage. Um, but there's a beautiful safety and security coming through for this person. They want to be that source of strength. They want to be that source of support for you. Um, they want you to be able to trust them. And I feel like at this point you can trust them. Okay. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Mother of Pentacles and the Emperor. Um, 
I feel too with the Emperor, you're looking at this person, seeing them as someone that you would like to commit to, okay? You're looking for commitment and you can really see yourself committing with this person. For others of you, maybe you're already committed to this person. Maybe you already are married and you have children. And I feel like I feel like there's a beautiful connection taking place maybe within an already existing relationship. Mm. The Wheel of Fortune is indicating here for you that um, something about feeling lucky okay you're feeling blessed you're feeling lucky um maybe something about the right time this is the right time this is a good time i kind of want to expand on this wheel of fortune for you capricorn let's just grab uh, a clarity card Okay, tell us more about the Wheel of Fortune Spirit. Eight of Swords reversed, the Death card, and the Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, you could be connecting to a Scorpio. Like I said, I said Scorpio at the start, didn't I, with the Death card. With the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Strong Scorpio. I feel that maybe you've been a little apprehensive or a little bit afraid to show your feelings towards this person. I feel with the Emperor, this is someone who's always got to be strong or someone who is in their masculine energy. I feel like maybe I'm connecting to a Scorpio that's very much in their masculine energy. Okay, but this week or this person is making you feel all lovey-dovey, caring, nurturing, like it's putting you in those vibes. And it's kind of like they're lowering this def defense or this wall in you, like their energy is very complimentary towards you because all of a sudden you're starting to feel maybe submissive to this person, but submissive in a good way. Um, I don't even know if I'm using the right word, but or surrendering to this person or opening up to this person because feminine energy whether you're a male or a female tuning into this feminine energy is an energy of receiving and i feel like that's what you're doing you're you're opening up and you're receiving this person that's what i feel you know, there's this beautiful person standing in front of you. It's a new opportunity for you to present yourself quite differently to how you have done in the past. You know, it's like with the death card here and the Wheel of Fortune, you're, you're almost unrecognizable. You're like, oh, wow, I'm usually like this in love. I'm usually strong and I don't like to show my feelings. But this person's got you in your feels in your feminine energy i hope that makes sense so let's take a look at the closing message to kind of tie all of this in or wrap this up here today if you're connecting to this reading guys be sure to hit that like button but i do feel that this person really does want to establish a very strong firm foundation here with you they want to take it into the future they see you in their future okay you're very special in this person's eyes and like i said you'll know because of the way they constant consistently show up in your life we've got adjustments are required boom third quarter moon adjustments are required so i feel like that's more to do with you uh capricorn i feel like you're changing and you're changing for the better, okay? And isn't that a beautiful thing that you can meet someone and they are complimentary to you? 
They're, this person is bringing out the best in you. Or they're bringing out the best side in you. And it almost feels like, wow, like I said, I've not experienced this before. You don't, you've not experienced this before. Remember I said earlier, not to sound like a broken record, but in relationships, you're not normally the softer person. But I feel with this person, you're, you're your true self. And that's what's refreshing. That's the adjustments that are taking place here. And you're recognizing that within yourself. All of a sudden, you're so much more sensual and you can be more lovey-dovey and touchy-feely with this person. Okay, maybe you share the same love language and that's a beautiful thing, right? Maybe it's physical touch for the both of you. I feel like with this person though, with the hummingbird, I feel like they might be words of affirmation. So this person may be saying things to compliment you that's kind of getting you to show your love back to them in a very uh, sensual way. And like I said, it almost feels like you're, a, you're this brand new person, right? <laughs> So there we have it, guys. They're your messages. I do hope that this reading resonated with you here today. If it did, feel free to show your support by hitting that like button. Like I said, I'm a small YouTube creator and your support would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys, take care.